Hello my YouTube friends! What if I told you there was a way you could control your OBS live streams from your cell phone for free? Well, actually there is, and I'm gonna show you how it works today. So let's get to it! My goal on this channel is to help make people better live streamers and maybe entertain a little bit in the process. If you could just take a second and let me know how I'm doing in the comments. And while you're there, definitely click that thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. This really helps to encourage YouTube to share this video with a wider audience. And if you're not subscribed, please do. This really does help me continue to make content that helps you. And it's totally free. So thanks. Touch Portal is totally free to use and can be expanded by paying, but the free portion gives you access to everything for two pages. More than enough for pretty much any live stream setup. I'm gonna show you how to change scenes, toggle sources, set up a soundboard, and even add face masks with hotkeys. But first, we gotta install the app, and there is a link in the description so you can check it out for yourself. Here we are on the Touch Portal webpage, and I'm just going to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom, and I'm gonna click install desktop it has PC or Mac I'm gonna install it on Windows you can see it down here in the bottom left hand corner and once it's finished downloading I'm just gonna click on it and then I'm gonna accept the user agreement and click next and next through the install information stuff you want a shortcut on your desktop next and then install once the install is complete it's going to ask you if you want to reboot your machine and you should definitely do this before you start using it now the configuration on this looks pretty complicated but it's really easy. I'm going to walk you through all the basics. Now I'm going to go ahead and open Touch Portal from the icon on the desktop. And the first time it comes up, it may ask you to update. You can just click yes here. And the update takes a few moments. Then you're going to get this asking for permissions and you just want to click accept. This opens up your firewall to accept the input from your iPhone. Then you want to go ahead over to your phone and this can be iPhone or Android. And you're going to go to your apps and just search for touch portal and go ahead and click download and you can see behind us i'm going to go ahead and set this up so we have our ip address and on the right hand side you can see the red dot telling us that we're not connected you just swipe to get through this and you're going to come up to the ip address screen you just type the ip address in that you find in the bottom left hand corner of touch portal and after a few moments you're going to see the dot in the right of the desktop app go yellow or green it's probably going to be yellow unless you have obs opened now we have OBS opened and I have a bunch of scenes loaded up. I'm just going to scroll through them here so you can see what we have. And these are just what I'm going to be using to add in some functions for our touch portal. So we have touch portal right here and all we have to do is click on any empty space to start creating a button. And the first button we're going to create is going to be down here in the OBS feature. So we're going to scroll down in the add actions to OBS and we'll just expand that out. I'm going to scroll back up here and we're going to select set scene. And then all I have to do is drop this down and select the scene I want to change to when I press this button. In this case, I'll select starting soon and I'm going to come over here to the black box and I'm going to type in the text for our button and you can see there we go we have a button that says starting soon I'm going to go back in here and we can change our text color right here we can also change our text font and here we can change the background color as well and we have a gradient you can select how you want your gradient to go and which two colors you want in your gradient in this case just a solid blue button will work and I can move the text around by clicking up here so let's click save now we've created a button what we'll do is go over here and you can see on my phone that button shows up in touch portal and I can click it and there we go it switches so let's create another button and we're gonna create another scene button so I'm just gonna click set scene and select another scene that I want to switch to in this case we want to switch back to intermission so I'm gonna select the intermission page just type that into the text over here in the black box and I'll just set the color for this button and uncheck here so we can see the background and you can see this will change the angle of the gradient which is pretty cool and I'm just gonna click save and if we go back over here into OBS now we can see our two buttons are in there and I can click on this one to change to the starting soon scene and I can click the intermission button to change back so let's create another button you can actually control different assets of your scene so what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna change the source visibility so now it's 
it's asking me which scene and I'm gonna do it in the intermission scene. And now I can select the source. Let's make the face cam visible and invisible. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna type face cam and I'm gonna set the color for the button. And we'll check here to make the background visible. And for this one, I'm gonna change the icon. So I'm gonna click change icon and you can load one up or you can use ones that are already set by selecting here. And I'm gonna just scroll down and decide which icon. This one works. Click add. So now we see that icon. We're gonna scroll up here to the top. We're gonna change the layout so we can see our text and our icon and then click save. So now we have a face cam icon. When I click on that, you can see my face cam appears and disappears. So we can make assets appear and disappear just that easily. Now we're going to mute our audio. So we're going to select the mute volume button. We're going to select camera because that is the actual source. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to just type mute and we'll change the background color. We'll go with a green. We'll set this so we can actually see it. We're going to change the icon. We're going to go in here and select this button right here so we can mute and we'll adjust it so we can see our text and click save. And now when we go over into OBS, you can see when I click on that mute button down in the mixer, the speaker goes red, showing us that we've muted our microphone. This really comes in handy as a cough button or something like that. It's really simple to set up, as you can see. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you, we're gonna do a transition on our little background here. So we're gonna have it come in to the right and we're gonna have it leave to the left. And so when I click the eyeball, you can see that our background there comes in and out in a very fluid motion. And we're gonna put a button in here so we can do that. So we're gonna go down to OBS once again, and we're gonna set the source visibility. We're going to select our intermission scene, and we're going to select the source. In this case, it's the display capture. And we'll just type desktop in here, and we'll go down here and change the color of our button again and make sure we can see it by unchecking the transparent background. And we'll change our icon right here, scroll down, and this little iPad icon should work for this, and it looks pretty good. I'm gonna click Save. Now we have an icon. So now when I click the button, that just appears and disappears just like that. Really, really easy to set these up and even add some animation into it. I really do like that. So we're gonna add a new page. We're gonna call this one Soundboard so we can add sounds to our live stream that we can control. And this takes us automatically to our new page. You could just select the old page right here. We're gonna create a button right here that will switch us to the other page. You do that with the go to page button and you drop this down and select the button you wanna go to. In this case, we wanna go to our soundboard page. We're just gonna set this up like all the others with the text and change the color and make sure that we can actually see it. And we're gonna change the icon. And this little arrow icon will work just fine to switch pages. There we go. Now, when we click that button, it's gonna take us to our soundboard page. So now let's go into our soundboard page and we'll create a button so that we can go back to our main page. So we'll just click go to page and then add in our main page button. We'll type in main and we're just gonna add the colors and all that stuff to create this button. And of course, we're gonna remove the transparent background and we're gonna change the icon. We use that same arrow icon. It makes it easy to identify how to change pages. So there we go. So now we have our main page and our soundboard page and a button to take us back and forth. Let's go ahead and add some sounds. So I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna scroll down and we're gonna go to media functions and we're gonna click play audio. And then I just need to browse to the file and select it and then click open. And I can adjust the volume that I want the clip to play at right here. I know this is a really loud audio clip, so I'm gonna make it 60%. I'm gonna put in the name of the clip over here and just create our button visuals and select color. And we'll change this icon up right here and this one will work. There we go, now we have an icon and a button to play some audio. And then we're gonna change the text color there and save it. So now we've got an icon button that will play a sound. We need to add in our desktop audio because that's where it's going to play. So we're going to go to audio output capture. We're just gonna call this desktop audio and then click okay. And now we just need to drop this down and select where our audio is gonna be played through so that our stream can capture it. And so now you see desktop audio right there. And when I click the button, it plays our audio. 
and that would go out to the live stream. So it's an easy way to add all kinds of different stuff for your soundboard. Next, I'm gonna click this button here and I'm gonna go down and we're going to select some key presses. So this one here will allow you to use the keyboard to make things happen. And I'm gonna go into my snap camera and I'm just gonna see what some of my hotkeys are. I think we're gonna do this monkey face one. So it's a number pad eight. So we need to put the number pad eight over here into this hotkey. So I'm just gonna go to numpad eight. Click that, you can see it shows up right there. I'm gonna add that. Go over here and just name the button. This one's gonna be the monkey. And I'm gonna move the text around, change the button color, remove that transparent background so we can see it, change the icon. You can upload all of your own icons for this as well, which is really nice. I'll just select this icon, click add. There we go, that looks fine. That's what we're gonna use. I'm gonna go ahead and just change the background color a little bit, there we go. Click save, and now if we go over into OBS, since we actually click the icon, we are already wearing the monkey face, but I can just click the button and put it on or remove it anytime I want using that hotkey. Really, really awesome. This is such a cool tool and it's totally free. If you wanna know more about how I use that monkey face changer and all, that's totally free. So check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.